Hello, Minecraftians. This will be episode four of Agrarian Skies. Yes, that that was me uh, thinking about which episode this is. Uh, I still haven't gotten any like real comments on the first episode yet, though it has been live for a couple of days. So I guess that means nobody hates it. <laughs> um. I've been grinding this bit here for a while, and I finally got an ender pearl. So we are going to grab an obsidian and half a stack, and we're going to finally make this hopper once we go back and get some iron, of course. And we'll put this useless stuff away. Oh, we do have enough to submit to that quest. Yeah. So let's do that first. No. Kind of towards this too. I guess this is a good way of getting extra lives. If you get half a heart each time. Resets again in two days, but we've also com completed this one. Hmm. I'll take the first potion. Alright. And we'll do this vacuum hopper. needs a regular hopper, which needs iron uh, or iron or come on words, iron or aluminum. That's what I meant to say. Oh god, that was difficult. <laughs> and then we can just combine this with an ender pearl and obsidian to get a vacuum hopper. These things are real nice. Oh, and my potion that I just got was for regeneration. Probably won't use that. Safari net, probably won't use that. In fact, I'm going to put the safari net up here with mob drops. For now. And then... Oh, we do have four quarters. We'll combine those. For another full heart. That'll bring us to six. And then we can put these away. Oh, we've got a reward bag too. Fancy. This is a greater one. It got us some fireworks. Uh, I might use those, but probably not since they're just kind of decorative. So now what I want to do... Oh my goodness, there's a lot of mobs in there. I'm gonna automate this now. Oh my goodness, there's so many in there. Well, put in that chest here. We need to configure this hopper. So right click on it, and then this, if you hold right click, you can drag it around. And I think it was this side that I want it on. Oh. Which side did that go on? The other side, I guess? The other side. Yeah, the right side. So I'll unset that other one. You can also do a uh, left click on a side. Or. Oh no, never mind. This other menu lets you put in an uh, XP output. And holy smokes, I need to kill these things. That creeper saw me. So that hopper should be picking stuff up and putting it in here. But what I need to do real quick. I want to get Invar spikes in there, but I need nine. Let's look at it. 
Invar. Invar spikes, well, you can use either Invar spikes or Punji sticks. They'll damage things that are standing on them. I need Invar swords, block of Invar. Let's see how many of these we can make. We need three. One, two. Yeah, this should be doable. And then we need one more of these. Oh, perfect. Happen to have three extra sticks. So it's oh. We need many more of those. We'll just do one to show. And then it's like this. We get four for that, but we need nine at least. So we're going to do this quickly. Get some sticks. And then we can do the rest. So we used about a stack of Invar for this. What you could have used alternatively is a Punji stick. Which, uh, it's fine. There, there's no real problem with these. They just don't give the increased chance of rare drops that Invar spikes do. Like, Wither Skeleton Skulls and that kind of thing. Iron from zombies. You can't see me. It's not me. And we're gonna put these down quickly. So now I shouldn't even have to touch them. Yep. Oh, I got another Ender Pearl. Might donate these inverse spikes to the other players on this server. Since I don't believe I'll have any use for them. And this mob trap is only temporarily until we have a good power setup. And then we can use Mine Factory Grinders. And this is going to fill up real quick. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> and I get a lot of heads too and trophies from monsters. But I totally forgot last episode that we were in the middle of doing power. So let's finish that as well. Right after I eat. Because I grinded a bunch more redstone for it. Let's look up conduit. We'll get these leadstone ones first. I'll just grab glass. And lead. How many should I need? I did that wrong. There we go. And after that, I'll need one redstone each and an invar. So and I need six left over. Then I need twelve left over. That'll probably be enough. Oops. Oh. Yep, no, that, that'll work. Put that like that, and then we'll put a couple in here. There we go. These ones can transport energy five times as fast. And I believe they also don't lose energy as quickly over distance. Or do, they, do these lose energy over distance? I'm not sure. Eventually we'll get redstone conduits, but that's going to require quite a bit, and I'm surprised it shows this is a recipe. This is how you get them, from Electrum and Hardened Glass. 
for hardened glass we need to pulverize some obsidian and also we need to fill them with uh, 200 millibuckets of redstone which ends up being two redstones that might have been a whole bunch cheaper since I already have electrum made actually but I don't have the fluid transposer yet so alright <laughs> now we're gonna set up our power put some things away here we go Oh, I need a whole bunch more crucibles. Alright, we're going to do some of this on camera. Just because. Put that stuff away. Yeah. I'm not too sure where I want to put this yet. But I know I need a bunch of this. We'll use... Oops. Well, I guess we won't pick that up yet since it's got another bucket of lava in it. Although maybe we will. Where do I want to put this? Hmm. It's going to be self-sufficient. Maybe I'll just grab a couple of stacks of cobble. Yeah, I know. Cobble isn't a nice building material. I'm going to replace it off screen sometime. We'll put it right over here. And we'll make it the same width there. And we'll put all our machines on the green clay there. At least for the start. Until we get some tesseracts. level down and build this second level deep. And we'll build here too. Alright. Now let's put down these conduits. Nope, I got ahead of myself again. Let's hammer how many? Two. Two is one. I don't actually know how fast these consume stuff. You can uh you can just break this stuff. I think all of the stuff can be just broken with a pickaxe. At least now it can. Uh, before, you may remember that, like, back in IC2. Is IC2 still around? Probably. But uh, some of their machines would uh, have a chance of not being the same machine afterwards, just being one of the basic blocks. If you broke it with a pickaxe, that isn't true with any of the machines in this pack. I do have water there. I'm gonna need to empty my bucket somewhere though. And I need to do this one more. What I'm gonna set up is I'm gonna have a bunch of magma crucibles automatically be being filled like this. And then have the lava going into the magmatic dynamos. Which has worked out really well for me in the past. Like, even compared to, like, ender generators, these generate just a whole bunch more energy, even though it's much easier to set them up. So we're going to do this. Three. One, two, three. I do need to extend that back out more. Let's do that now. Once I get a few more diamonds, I'll build a builder's wand. Which is a really nice tool. 
but that probably won't be for at least two episodes probably once I get the ore automated oh can I, yeah I can't do that oh let's yeah I'm gonna need to put down a or no I won't because there's gonna be lava and we'll put the lava here and here so I guess I'm committed to six of these crucibles now. I have one built. Why did I not get that? Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna break it. Oh, I'm gonna need something in the middle. And the, th the conduits down here in the middle will need servos in them, which is why I'm going to do two sides to maximize the efficiency for servos. I should build that one, one wider. Really should. And we needed clay. That's what I was doing this dust for. One, two... It's raining, but I don't feel like waiting. Let's get to these, actually. So this is some of the grind that you guys haven't seen much of. Just running back and forth, doing the same thing over and over again. But it's kind of fun in a way. Like, if I wanted to get everything instantly, I could just play creative, and that's no fun. At least for me. I'm not a, a builder type guy. I like fiddling with all of the automation and machines that way. So we got 32 of this, and we're going to need to make some more juice soon. One. I have a whole bunch of apples now. We'll take half of this and juice it. I'm at getting to the stage where I'll be able to make better foods, but first I want to get some cows for milk so I need six more I do not even have enough for that well we'll do four and then we'll do the, the rest for I don't care about the charcoal anymore we'll wait for this to smelt and then we're gonna grab our ethnic extruder from here and we're gonna need a bucket of lava for that as well Oh, and we're going to need some conduits. Oh, I only have one conduit. Let's make more. Or one item duct, I mean. And we're going to need three, four servos. So let's grab that stuff. Oh, we had most of it on us. It's lead and tin, I think. And I'll need invar for servos.
need four. That's good. We're going to use a lot of item buffs in this playthrough. At least until we get a good computer setup going. I'm going to... I want to put it somewhere easily accessible from the front. Eventually I'm going to have a 3x3 a three three of these Magmatic Dynamos. And that'll probably do us until we need a reactor. So maybe I could even put it here. Start make, making more lava. Well, this one should. No, it's still making obsidian. If I had the time to wait, I would just wait for this one to do it. But it's never going to have a full bucket in it. So let me grab these. We haven't put any servos in these yet. I guess we can set that up now, just not set them to output. One, two, three. And these ones, when you put them in a fluid duct for some reason, I believe. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, some phlegm there. You can only right click on them when they're connected to something. But the servos are in there. If you pick these up with your crescent hammer or even a, a pickaxe, you will get the servo back. So they aren't just used and gone. So I'm going to come back once this thing has generated enough lava for a few, to finish the setup. BRB. Back quickly. As it turns out, it doesn't need a lava source block under it. It just needs flowing lava. So if you want to optimize your system for that, go for it. Lava will blow, flow uh, four blocks, I think. So you can do one lava block every eight, because it'll be four in each direction. Or seven. Yeah, I think the source block and three out, it'll flow. I think. makes sense in my brain and we've got a bucket here so we can put that here and then finish the setup so we only are one block short or one crucible short I should say oh oh you cannot shift on pipes <laughs> That scared me. And this guy should be able to handle this. Let's change stack size to five, uh, four. So it should transfer four at a time now. Also, let's get our thing out and change this. And we'll get rid of that. 
And now we're going to set these to output. And they should start powering these. Nope, I didn't change that one. To ignore redstone. Uh, if they have something to connect to when you place, or when you put in the servo, it looks like that the default will be redstone disabled, but if they don't, like these two blocks, these two fluid pipes didn't have anything to connect to, so they started with ignored, or not ignored, uh, redstone signal high required. Now you can see these are getting power. 34, 34. Yeah. So it'll, I guess it's filling them up sequentially. But you can see it's going up. And once all these are full, you can just keep adding more until you see that it's not filling up. Because when these are full, they won't use any. Or they will. But anyways, you can, you can, like, this is the cheapest power you can possibly imagine. It's just a bunch of invar. And, and, like, no resources to put in. I'm not sure how many uh, crucibles this igneous extruder will be able to keep up with. My previous world, I had 18, 36 crucibles running off of two. But I didn't actually check that I needed to. Could have probably done with one. So there you go. This is power. And since there's nowhere to put that power, it is full up. Yeah, all of them have their maximum amount of RF in there. Seems like six might be cutting it pretty close on here. We'll see. We'll let it run for a few hours and see if it can keep them topped up. And then I'll experiment with adding more. And I will let you guys know what the actual limits are for all this stuff. I think that'll be it for this episode, though. We got our power set up. We fixed our mob farm which is already filling up. I'm going to make another chest to put next to this or upgrade this one to a diamond chest. That might be a good idea. Oh, you you get these uh, miniature red hearts more with the inverse spikes as well and carrots and potatoes and stuff. And these hearts can be used to upgrade your health. You can either build or this one. Although this one I think is the hardest recipe to do because it requires four diamonds each and a necrotic bone and until you have a witch water you can't get these but you can get glowstone to upgrade that into this and invar uh, empty canisters are just invar or aluminum I mean or tin and a bone for whatever reason Ender eyes won't be difficult either because we have the ender pearls and the blaze powder now. But getting those emeralds actually might be difficult. So the, the yellow canisters are the easiest ones. Now, I believe if you don't make those, you can still you get them from some quest rewards. Oh, <laughs> powering up. Uh, let's go for number two this time. It's a good reward bag. I have a lot of stuff in here, so I'll just stand over here in case it's a big one. Nope. Hill cherry. Not bad. This is uh, an extra bees. Or, not extra bees. I, I confuse extra bees and foresty a whole lot. Because I never have one without the other. I'll put bees up here, though. So off camera, I'm going to figure out how many of these that I can have running at the same time with them feeding into an energy cell. Actually, 
Yeah, no. Yeah. I'll I'll do start of next episode. We'll build uh, an energy cell, and then I'll do the calculating and stuff. Well, experimenting really. That'll be it for this episode, though. See you next time.